This is Fitness Blender's Advanced Total Body Plank Workout. All you're going to need for this routine is an exercise mat. This routine only consists of one round through of eight different exercises. Let's go ahead and get started with the first exercise. We're going to begin with a plank up and out knee tucks. So go ahead and come up into a full push-up position. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So from that push-up position, that knee is going to draw straight underneath you and then up out to the side as high as you possibly can. You want to try to open that thigh up so that thigh is almost parallel to the ground but still trying to keep those hips as flat to the ground as possible. Just really try to work on that full range of motion on that hip. Go ahead and switch those legs. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. You want to keep this motion nice and quick, but still trying to get a lot of range of motion and keeping it completely under control. You should never be kicking your leg. It should always be a controlled motion. You're almost done. And here's your last one right here. Go ahead and let it relax. Drop down. Now we're going to roll you over into your left side first when you're doing a side plank for the side plank up and outs. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So come up onto that side plank, full extension on that arm, leg nice and straight. We're doing the same exact motion we were just doing, just turned on your side. So that knee's going to come straight up underneath you, and then kick it straight out to the side. Just keep this motion going, quickly but under control, and really concentrate on trying to keep a nice straight line from your shoulder all the way down to your ankle on that leg that's static. You want to keep those hips up nice and high, and focus on moving just around that hip joint and not letting that torso move. Go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch sides, do the same thing this time on the right side, moving that left leg. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Again, moving that leg nice and quickly, but keeping it under control. Straight up in front of you, then kicking it up and out to the side, trying to get as perpendicular to the ground as possible. If balance becomes an issue, you can always drop down onto that knee for the easier version, or just slow that motion down. Almost done. And let it relax. Alright, let's go ahead and flip you over into your back for the supine plank up and outs. Again, same exact position, just facing up this time. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Raise those hips up nice and high. Those hands directly underneath those shoulders. You can either face those fingers out to the side or straight down towards those toes. And then get that same motion going. That knee comes straight up in front of that body. And then you want to pull it out to the side nice and wide, trying to keep it as parallel to the ground as possible. Now you also want to be constantly aware of trying to keep those hips up nice and high. They're going to constantly want to drop on you. So always squeezing through those hamstrings, that butt and that lower back to keep those hips up nice and high. And go ahead and let it relax. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite leg. Go ahead and get ready. Come back up into that full plank position, that supine plank. This time with that right leg. Same thing, drawing that knee straight up in front of that body. Then kicking that leg out to the side as wide as possible, trying to keep it as parallel to the ground as you can. Always keeping those hips up. Almost done. Keep those arms locked out. Keep that leg moving. Last one to the side and let it relax. All right, next one, we're going back to a traditional plank. This time we're going to be off your elbows. We're doing plank extensions. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Come up onto those elbows and toes. Spread those feet nice and wide apart for this one. You're going to be lifting your left hand and right foot, dropping them back down slowly, and then lifting your right hand, left foot. Just keep the motion going nice and slow under control. The slower you go, the easier it's going to be for that balance. Also want to try to make sure you're keeping those hips nice and low. They're going to start trying to work up on you as those abdominal muscles start getting tired. Focus on trying to keep those hips and those shoulders as parallel to the ground as possible. As you switch hands and feet, try not to rotate those shoulders or those hips too much. They're going to want to twist on you quite a bit, but you want to try to keep them as level as possible. Just keep that motion going. Hips nice and low. We're almost done. 
last one, and let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is an alternating side star. So we're going back up to that full side plank position. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Start off in that regular plank position, that full push-up position. And then you're going to nice and slow turn to that left side. So you're in a, in a side plank now with that left hand and that left leg touching the ground. And that right arm you're going to bring straight up above that shoulder so it's pointing straight up towards the sky. Then slowly lift that right leg up as high as you can to the side. Then nice and slow move directly onto the opposite side. Do the same motion again. Now the key with this one is moving really, really slowly and not kicking your leg around too much. It's going to help you keep your balance much, much more if you move slowly. The faster you go, the more work your core is going to have to do to keep that balance. Just keep that motion nice and slow under control, moving back and forth from side to side. Keeping those hips nice and high, don't let them droop. And try to work as much range of motion on that leg that you're lifting as possible. Just keep the motion going under control. We've got two more on each side. Really focus on keeping those hips up. Work as much range of motion in that leg as you can. So one more on the other side. And let it relax. All right, our next one is a supine plank with leg raise. This one's done facing up again. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Bring those hips up nice and high. Try to get a nice straight line from shoulder down to ankle. Starting with that left leg first, you're just gonna draw it straight up over top of those hips as high as you can without bending that knee. So it doesn't matter if you point your toe or you flex it in towards you. You're just working on as much range of motion through that hip as you can without letting that knee bend. Almost done, just one more, and let it relax. All right, let those hips drop and rest for a second. We're going to switch sides, do the same thing on that right leg. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So bring those hips up nice and high again. Freeze them up there. That right leg's going to come straight up in the air. Nice tight squeeze up as high as you possibly can. Just make sure you're not kicking that leg. You want a nice, slow, controlled motion. Tight squeeze at the top. Almost done and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next one, the plank rotational kicks. You're going to be facing down in that full plank position or that push-up position. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Come up in that full plank position, that full push-up position. You're going to tuck one knee underneath you, kick that leg out to the opposite side of your body as far as you can, making sure you're keeping it up off the ground. Then nice and slow tuck it back and place it back on the ground. Then do the same thing on the opposite side. So nice and slow, keeping those hips down as best you can. Tuck that knee up to your chest. Nice tight squeeze, then immediately kick it out to the side. As little rotation through your shoulders as possible. Those hips can rotate, but try to keep those shoulders completely level. Try to keep that foot as high off the ground each time as you can. Almost done, one more, and let it relax. All right, this is our last one. This is the side plank Ds. So when you're back in that side plank position, you're gonna be down on your elbow for this one. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Bring those hips up nice and high, balancing on that elbow and that side of that foot. Slowly draw that right leg up in front of that hip. Then nice and slow, draw that leg up in a nice arc motion back down towards that planted foot, making that nice D motion. Straight up in front of that hip, arc half circle around back down towards that planted foot. Almost done. And go ahead and let this one relax. We're going to switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Hips up nice and high. This time that opposite leg is going to come straight up in front of that hip. Then up and out to the side, nice and high. Making that arc motion back down towards that planted foot. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. You're almost done.
This is your last one right here. And let it relax. Good job, you just finished Fitness Blender's Advanced Plank Workout.